All right, today is something new. We're gonna do reviews. And I got to pick between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So let's do Review Tuesday. Today I'm gonna to take a look at 100 Tuesday Tips by Grizz and Norm. It's actually volume one and two and an extra book. That was loud. And why am I picking those? Well, on Twitter, every now and then, I see tweets from artists with screenshots and pages from this book. So I was wondering, well, is there maybe a way to have this as a collection? And actually, there is. I'm gonna link in the description a link to Etsy where you can buy these, you can buy them separately, you can buy them as a bundle as I did, and that's why you got that extra book. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a page through of the things that I really, really like about this book, and I think as an animator, it's super, super helpful. So let's go through those books here. So, as we go through, it's really, really neat how immediately it starts into animation-related material. You can see how it asks you to push your poses, and it kind of goes back and forth between sketching and form and silhouette and also color. There's some really cool stuff. It talks about clear silhouette, line of action. This is all very, very appropriate to animators. And it goes through straight against curve, again, color stuff hands, there's lots about posing. It's an interesting back and forth between different topics. And you would see stuff like that posted on Twitter. So there could be something about a flower sack, right? Which is really cool because that's one of the classic assignments as an animator. It's actually really helpful to have just that in there. There's more about palettes, again, gesture drawing, composition, drawing line exercises, tangents. Oh, one thing I'm constantly complaining about, tangents. Very, very cool that that's in there. I'm not alone. Silhouette and storytelling, film study, there's so much awesome stuff in there. I can go, I mean, I don't wanna go every page, but let's just kind of thumb through here. Straights versus curves, just borrow value, eyes and ears, so eye poses, super important. More specific drawing things, stylized objects, beat boards, oh, this is so good, so good. A type of shots for storyboarding, more shading about oh contrasting characters is great too. There's so much good stuff. Again, I don't want to you know spoil everything and go through the whole thing, but this is just volume one. And then you have volume two. Tuesday tips, volume two. Oh, so good. Look at that. I love that in terms of how you could set up a scene, composition, if you have something where it's not just one shot, but it's more about a sequence. It's very cool. Already starts in an awesome way. There's so much good stuff in this book, it's absolutely bananas, but hold on, let me continue. So as you continue on, going with twisting and your posing, body talk, capes and stuff, pushing poses, about your face, about your eye line, especially again here, how far can you push your poses? There's so much in there that's helpful. So if you're looking for something specific, like posing asymmetry, right? It's just right in there. It gives you quick little tips, there's more, about color, lines and shapes and value, perspective, posing for your spine, what to push in terms of your shoulders. So good. This is volume two. So again, I got the bundle, volume one and volume two. This came as well. This was an added little thing. Super cute. It's a cute style. And nice colors. There we go. That was the bonus. You can buy these separately. There's one or two or the bundle. Now, you might not need this as a book. You can go online. I can imagine Pinterest has a ton of those pages or I don't know where you go. You can Google it and you can probably see a lot of examples there. That's fine, but I also like things just in book form so I can decide where to go. I want to bookmark things and I can have this everywhere where I go. So you don't always have to be online. You have maybe your thumbnail saved on your phone, wherever it is. So it's kind of up to you, but I think this is pretty cool to have this in book form. They're not too big, not too heavy. Now, on the picky side, you might say that it's a bit disjointed in terms of subjects. So it goes from color to suddenly shapes about hands and then about shoulders and then value and then storyboarding. So it's a bit all over the map and there is technically no index. So if you look at this here, it basically just starts. So if you want it to be a bit more organized, it's just kind of there and there's nothing at the beginning or at the end that will tell you where what is. So if you wanna be a bit more organized and find things quickly, you're gonna to have to be old school and do some bookmarking uh, hacking there. And for shoulder acting, just do this. But again, I mean, come on, shoulder acting is in it. It's so awesome. So 
I think that would be the only drawback. It's a bit all over the place. There's no index. It's nothing where you can just immediately go, I want this right there. You have to kind of page through it to find it. But then again, there are ways where you can just do it on your own with post-it notes or whatever your method is. But I think in general, it's just kind of meant as a nice collection of all the tips and not as a go-to, here is the topic, blah, 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 the next topic, blah, blah, blah. But maybe that could be a volume three, I don't know. But for me as a whole, I really like it. I have this bookmarked online as well, but it's just really cool to have this in physical form. So if you're interested in this, again, link in the description, you can go and buy it. That's it. You will see another review on Tuesday. It might not be every Tuesday, but on Tuesdays, there will be reviews from now on. All right, as always, thank you for watching until the very end. If you watched this whole thing, I really do appreciate it. And if you like this, a like. If you have suggestions, drop a comment. If you want me to review things, leave me a comment and let me know what you want to get reviewed. If you have something that you want me to review and you can send it to me, if you are a company or whatever, there is also an email in the description if you want to contact me. And that is about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another clip.